Hi guys, it's Danielle. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a pumice stone. Now you might be asking the question, what is a pumice stone? A pumice stone basically is formed when uh, hot lava mixes with water and it forms this stone, which is great for exfoliating your skin and getting rid of hard, dry, um, calloused skin, specifically around your feet, um, which can happen a lot if you wear flip-flops or even around your elbows or even on your hands, anywhere where you get dry callous skin, this is great for rubbing that out and doing it all naturally. So here we go, I'm gonna demonstrate how to use this stone. So the first step is to soak your feet or whatever you're going to be exfoliating with the pumice stone with in warm water. Um, the most common part of the body to exfoliate with a pumice stone is the feet. Uh, the heels tend to develop a layer of hard callous skin that can become cracked or scaled. Some other areas may be your elbows or your knees. Um, but anyways, you're going to want to soak the callous part in warm water for about five minutes to soften the skin. And if you're working on your feet, you can do it in a bowl of warm water or a bathtub. In this case, I'm going to be showing you um, with a bathtub. So in this case, I'll be soaking my feet and I'm going to wait until the dry skin has softened. The skin will be easier to remove if it's soft and supple. Feel your skin after several minutes of soaking. If it still feels tough, wait a few more minutes, giving the water a warm up if necessary. But if it's soft, your skin is ready for the pumice stone and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few more minutes. Now my skin is very soft and ready for the pumice stone. The next step is to wet the stone. Wetting the stone will help it slide more easily across your skin rather than catching on it. So you can run the stone under warm water or dip it in the water where you are soaking your skin in order to thoroughly wet it. Next, you're gonna rub it gently over the calloused area Use a circular motion to start sloughing away the dead skin with the pumice stone. If the skin is nice and soft, it should start coming right off. Keep going until you remove the dead skin and get to the fresh, supple skin underneath. Now, you don't want to press too hard. Light pressure is all that is needed. Let the surface of the stone do the work. If you're working on your feet, focus on the heels, the sides of your toes, and other areas where dry skin tends to build up. You may want to add some soap to the pumice stone. This will help give it an extra cleanse to your skin and help get all that dirt and dead skin off. The next step is to simply rinse and repeat. So rinse off the dead skin and take a look to see if you need to keep going. If you still see bits of dead skin, go over the area again with the pumice stone and continue using this stone on the area until you're satisfied with the results. Since the pumice stone will wear down slightly while you use it, you may need to turn it over to get a fresh surface. Now I love the size of this Beauty by Earth pumice stone because you can use it on all different sides and use it for a while. It also lasts a very long time. Once you're satisfied with the results of the pumice stone, um, you're going to use a towel to pat your skin dry. And then coat the area with an oil or cream to prevent it from drying out too quickly. I'm going to use the Beauty by Earth Argan Oil. I really love the results this gives me on my feet. So your formerly callous skin should now be soft, supple, and gleaming, as you can see here. And you can repeat this as often as needed to keep your skin in good shape. And this will save you several trips to the nail salon that costs you ridiculous amounts of money. So the next step is to care for your pumice stone and clean it. You're gonna need a dry towel and a toothbrush or some sort of brush that can get into the cracks of the stone. So take the brush and scrub the stone while holding it under running water. And you can also add a bit of soap to help clean the stone completely. This way your stone will be clean and ready to use the next time you need to use it. The dead skin will build up in the pores of the stone as you use it, so you'll want to clean the stone after each use.
Lastly, you want to allow it to completely dry out. So set the pumice stone in a dry place so that it doesn't stay damp in between uses. You can place it on the towel like so. Some pumice stones like this one come with a string attached that allows you to hang the stone to dry. It's very important to make sure the stone does dry out between uses. If you let the stone stay wet, bacteria could grow in the pores and it makes it unsafe to use. And here is the before and after. You can see the one on the right is the one I exfoliated with using the pumice stone and the one on the left was not touched. So really good results here using the stone and a moisturizer directly after. Also, every once in a while, you'll want to give the stone a deep cleaning to make sure it isn't harboring bacteria. So you bring a small pot of water to a full boil, drop in the stone, and boil it for five minutes. And use tongs to remove the stone from the water and allow it to dry completely before storing. If you use the stone frequently, boil it every two weeks to ensure it stays clean. And you're going to want to replace the stone when it wears down. Pumice is a soft stone that will eventually wear away after you've used it for a while. When it gets too small to handle easily or the surface becomes too smooth to be effective, go ahead and spring for a new one. This specific pumice stone is very inexpensive. I love this pumice stone because it lasts a very long time due to its size. You can see here it's about the size of my hand, so it will last me a very long time. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Um, the Beauty by Earth pumice stone comes in this box and you'll notice that it comes in a plastic um, wrapping that you can take off, but it's great for preserving it until you open it. Um, and you just simply take that off and then put it in the water. Um, I like the Beauty by Earth pumice stones because they are particularly large, um, larger than a lot of other pumice stones on the market. You can see they um, are about the size of my hand. Also, another great way to use a pumice stone is not only for removing the dead callus skin, but you can actually use these to remove pilling of clothing um, on jackets, on workout pants, uh, in between the leg area, those little white balls that show up. This is great for getting rid of those, and I will do another demonstration on how to use it for that. Um, another great way to use this pumice stone is to get rid of those copper rings and toilet seats and toilet bowls. Um, obviously you'd want to use a different pumice stone for your toilet bowl than what you're using on your skin, but another great use for this. So if you want to find out where to get these, I've included a link in the description box below. Um, and if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and comment in the comment section if you have any questions at all. Thanks for watching.